There's an interesting contrast um, between we're going to look at a player from Argentina, a player for Germany. Similar roles. Ronnie, here's what Mascherano for you does for Argentina. Yeah, this is now I don't know why he goes there to pick the ball up. If I was a centre back, I tend to get lost. I can pass the ball, I will pass yeah. it. And when, when the, they pick it up, everything's they, they call it the barber short, back, and sides. And that's the only way he passes short, backwards, or to the side, to the full backs. Now he should be further up the pitch, and Messi should be further again up the pitch. Where if you're going to make if you're going to make it difficult for teams, but every time Mascherano picked the ball up. It was either by the centre back or just about five yards off and picks it up again here. Now, why can't the centre back do what he's going to do now? Centre back can pass it to the full back. Why, do, why doesn't centre back do that? But that's all he seems to want to do. And he's done it a lot with Liverpool as well. Now, there's Messi having to pick the ball up there. Now, why should Messi be all the way back there? But it is Messi who creates the chance then. Mascherano again, off the centre back, and gives it back to the centre back. And you, you'll see in a minute the difference when when we do see Schweinsteiger and what he will do. I can't believe the centre-backs that big international footballers don't tell them to get lost. I can do what you're doing. I can pass the full-back just as well as you can pass it. If you move up, I will then find you in spaces where we can make things happen. I'll tell you tell what, it, what it is, Rob. It's the holding player mentality. Like, I don't know what we did without the holding player data up to a few years ago. <laughs> Everybody has to have a holding player. Sometimes it's two holding players. I think it's nonsense. But what happens, I think, with Mascherano, he's regarded as a holding player. So all he's worried about is holding, getting tackles in when the opposition have the ball. He's not, he's not looking to be a creative player. Like, it he would think his job, I'm not, I, I get the ball here, but I'm not supposed to do anything with it. So he gives it to the full back, really. He gives it back to the, the centre back. No, no, that's what he expects. That's what the manager expects from him. Yeah. And that's what's happened in football. From the holding player, he gets his tackles in. So he only comes into play, really, Dad, when the opposition have the ball. So when you have the ball, he's not expected to do anything. Nicky Butt, people like that. Yeah. You know? David so Mascherano's me mentality is when I get the ball, I'm not expected to do anything. Mm. So he passed it here, he passed it there. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really do anything with the ball. Well, here's the contrast. Bastian Schweinsteiger, who by trade is a right winger, but now playing in the centre of this team and running the show. Have you seen him defend? He's a great defender as well. People come at him, but look, you know, this is what a midfielder should do. You know, if you've got... You can break if you want. Mm. You know, you've got no set. You pass to the full back. He starts, moves off, and he looks for the ball. He wants it all the time. He's the link between the forwards and the midfield. Now, look at the passing that they can get because he's further up the pitch. And where he gets the ball, Swansteiger, it's completely different areas than where Mascherano gets the ball. Well, he wants it here, look again. And then he'll set a move going down this side. And they go and attack them. Linking it up. That's what you're supposed to do as a midfield player. But it's a, it's a mentality, uh, you see. Look, well, this, this he's in this it, half, yeah. he's picking up. Look, in, in the opposition half. And now he can set people up from there. He can set closer away. The full backs can get forward. There he is back there. Look, mm. now that's. Is that a defensive midfielder? There shouldn't be. You shouldn't need, in my opinion, anyway, Dad. I think Ronnie might feel the same. You don't need a designated holding player. Well, the other term is, is, is somebody who, who sits and protects the back, back four. Which is a myth. There isn't one yeah. player in the <laughs> world can cover that much ground to, to, to protect the back four. Yeah. And what are the back four supposed to be doing? They're international defenders. <laughs> so when you get fellas working properly, say you've got two midfield players, you get up and down together. Yeah. You attack so at the right time, you defend at the right time. And good players, team. And good, yeah, but yeah. good players won't get ahead of the ball at the wrong yeah. time. Well, that's, the, that's the argument about England with Gerard and, and um, that's what, that's what Lampard. You do. Yeah. Why can't Gerard and Lampard play in the centre midfield together? If one steps forward, the other one sits in. Yeah, you it's together. Not, it is not rocket science, really. And if you're and not to get the ball, say you call say, a, a midfielder holding player, Dad. Somebody's on the ball the, on the halfway line. Now, what a lot of the, the, the holding midfield players, they stay back. 15 yards behind him, in case he loses the ball. Mm. Right, now what he should do is get up uh, close to him, right, because he's going to be confronted by somebody, and the player on the ball can only be in trouble if he's got nobody to help him. Right, so the whole of midfield player comes up square, and he receives the ball. Mm. So the guy doesn't lose it anyway. So therefore, he doesn't have to get the tackle in. You know what I'm saying? I do. So in the olden days, like in the olden days of my time, <laughs> but Billy Bramlin and I played together in midfield, right, and I just say to people now, which of us was the whole of midfield player? Was we were both holding midfield at the right time. Billy Bremer scored 115 goals for Leeds. I scored 115 goals for Leeds from a midfield position. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to brag now, but you didn't have to have. We didn't have a designated 
yeah. uh, uh, Holden player. Ronnie didn't, did you, with Liverpool? You had yourself, Brent uh, Ness and... Sue, yeah, whoever. Steve McMahon, myself, wanted to go forward one sitting. How many goals did you score for Liverpool? Then? 73. I didn't make the 100, John. Nice, <laughs> yeah, we'll no, but, Ron, that but Ronnie wasn't, but Ronnie <laughs> wasn't regarded as a, as a goal-scoring midfielder. Yeah. I mean, uh, was it McDermott? Was it, was yeah, it, he, was he was a goal-scorer. But Ronnie wasn't, because Ronnie would be up and down. But he still scored his fair share of goals, and important goals. So, in other words, he didn't have... Graham Sinesh scored a few goals as yeah, well, didn't yeah. he? I'll score them. So they didn't have a designated. Yeah. You couldn't say Graham Graham Sinest by today's standards was a holding midfield player because Graham got on the ball. He distributed yeah. from the middle of the field. He was a great yeah. player. Wasn't no, no, he? But he, it, they would say he's a holding midfield player, but he, he he wasn't as such. He was a defensive midfield player who set things up and, yeah. Yeah. and scored goals as well when he had to. Yeah, right. he wasn't designated like sitting at the back. I'm not allowed to get on the ball. I'm not allowed to pass. I'm not allowed to join in. Join in. The more you join in, the less you have. The less you give the ball away. So the less you less you have to win it back. Very good guys. The beautiful game, huh? Time for